Hello, time for another Shellixle demo. So let's open Shellixle and let's just try this one. Or was it that? Yeah, okay, so we have this structure and we just use ShellXT as in the examples before. So there's only one solution in P21. So this is solution number A. So we open that. And we see this is vitamin C. And um, yeah, just relabel them. So we have two uh, identical molecules or not identical uh, same molecules in the asymmetric unit and like here so this is one with vitamin C so and that's the other one so you see there labeled the same way but there's a small difference in torsion angles for example. So yeah, so next thing is uh, of course we refine that anisotropically and as you can see we have a uh, residual map there uh, in green for all the hydrogen atoms which are missing. So um, to get better results, we just increase the map precision here. So you see it's the grid, the green grid is getting finer now. So this helps in finding um, the hydrogen atoms. We just click here on auto, hfix, and it looks like that we got most or all of the hydrogen atoms which are missing so let's refine I hit space and you see everything is here so I'm just uh, trying something to let's try again if this thing has e extinction so we find the extinction parameter so there is a little bit of extinction and uh, we see that the s uh, scattering factors, they are not correct. So they we don't have any fluorine here and the unit is also not correct. So there is a functionality here. So we say just update unit instruction. Uh, let's save that. And we also can say read unused uh, scattering factor numbers so with that we get rid of the fluorine atom which is in this case not so complicated because it's just at the end of the list but sometimes we have that within the list and this changing the list would uh, uh, require that you change this uh, number here which refers to the position here in the list has to be changed everywhere and this is done automatically by this functionality and uh, yeah to finalize we just refine the waiting scheme and so we are done with that structure so then we just move on to another structure and try if we could solve that as well so probably it's here so again we have to use xt and uh, again there is only one solution so we choose underscore a and this is probably also well known that's the sugar you probably put in your coffee and um, yeah again we just hit the auto labeling function because I'm too lazy to rename all of them so that's 23 atoms and yeah we 
just we find them anisotropically. See, we have some hydrogen atoms, and let's try if we can auto H fix some of them. Yes, seems to be the case that we got the uh, some of them. So let's see after refinement. Ah, uh, we s we have some missing hydrogen atoms. And uh, this means we can try again. Sometimes it finds some. Yeah, it found two of them, as you can see here. Um, but we are missing three of them. So let's see. So we could repeat that forever. Um, sometimes the program is stupid enough to don't find even if there's a very obvious Q peak here and this would uh, expand to some hydrogen bond to another molecule so that should give a nice hydrogen bond to o O1 here so I don't know why the program doesn't accept this so but we're um So this is Resi 1, so we, but it's, there's only one Resi. So we just use old style editor, so we just say H fix and 14.8 for having a hydroxyl uh, hydrogen there which is able to freely rotate according to the density and we have to specify which atom this is and it's O10 so just say O10 and we just refine that oops why did that work hmm. Hmm. I don't know let's repeat that should have worked uh, because of the resi so we don't need the resi here so um, let's remove that resi thing resi um, select whole lines so and we replace them so there's no resi left so let's do that again so hfix 14.8 and 010 now this should work and it did so again this is completely solved so let's try if we have any extinction probably there's not much of it let's see yeah, seems to be that there be a that that there would be a little bit of extinction, and so we finalized it again by hitting refine waiting scheme until it converges. So we find that as well here, and uh, yeah, we save that. And uh, again here our list is incomplete or not correct, so the unit uh, is not correct, so we just say uh, update unit instruction. So that shouldn't change much in the refinement, let's see. So you see we started at that R value and finally we got to 2.4% not too bad and so this was it thanks for listening and uh, goodbye